Okay, this is the current configuration of the recycling center now. Uh, you have, let me get my configuration right. This is Jackson Street. This is C Street. This is Ullman Street. Yard waste drop off here. This was obviously when it was uh, cleaned up. This is the Stuckey's building. This is the current recycling center site. This is the footprint of the original lot that we purchased from Helbling Land Company years ago. It's former uh, Burlington Northern right of way. This was a piece of property that we purchased from that same um, uh, Helbling Land Company, I believe, and we installed C Street on it and then bought this recycling, recycling center <coughs> expansion. Uh, that was held off as we were moving forward with our other initiatives. So that we're really talking about this area right here as being the recycling center. Okay, this is a overhead sketch of the configuration of the facility. It's, I believe, 15,000 square feet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it has public parking here, secured parking, uh, storage building, uh, so on and so forth. Again, preliminary conceptual designs based upon planning that was um, pursued among uh, LCA architects and the police uh, administration and users of the facility. This is the interior configuration. Again, conceptual design only, a lobby, office spaces. Uh, it includes a, a uh, public meeting room, I believe, in the facility, yes. So uh, there are some really uh, innovative things that can be utilized in the uh, design. But again, it's conceptual only. What we looked at was, is the site adequate for a police station? Does it meet the accessibility? Does it meet the site? size requirement, uh, so on and so forth. And the bottom line is that it does. Uh, LCA's preliminary con concepts uh, have been vetted out by those who will use it and appears to be uh, a pretty good design. This is the, the look from looking to the, uh, I believe, the northeast so or northwest. So again, this is Jackson here. This is the front part of the facility, public parking and um, secure parking in the rear. This is a profile from the front. Again, from that same angle that we just had to the, the northwest. Okay, then we get into the dollars. This was the original concept uh, estimate by LCA Architects. As you can see, it was $5.345 million. That was the estimated total project cost in December of 2016. One of the things, this was, of course, since it had been sitting around a year and we've been talking to the council about increased costs of construction since that time, especially for buildings, we wanted to have that updated as we're bringing that back. So this is the updated, and you can see it is a little bit different. It is about, and it's running off the bottom of the page. So let me get Six that. nine nine six. Yes, six million nine hundred ninety six thousand dollars. Now, what did it address that wasn't addressed in uh, January or December of two thousand and sixteen? First, uh, construction costs have increased because of the lack of labor. The market is high. The construction is high. And there have been several natural disasters, which are also uh, taking away capacity uh, for construction. In um, December 1 of 16, those costs, we've taken a 10% factor, increased those costs as well. And the cost escalated was extended to 2019 because uh, by the time if this is approved, it will be designed in 2018, constructed in 2019. We've added an escalation factor of 7.5% to the bottom line. The idea was because of uh, if the market stays high, construction continues to go on, it will take people a time to get back into the market. This is a way to make sure if we're asking the public to vote on a project that we have enough capital to do the project. Lastly, the previous um, estimate by LCA did not include sanitation fund property reimbursement of $586,000.
The recycling center site is owned by the sanitation fund, which is an enterprise fund. City operates our enterprise funds, which are the sanitation, the water and sewer funds as businesses. They're separate from the general fund, and if the general fund is going to take over an enterprise fund facility, the, enter the general fund needs to pay uh, the enterprise fund for that facility. This land upon which the recycling center um, is, a, is located, was purchased by the sanitation fund, so the general fund will have to purchase that from the sanitation fund. So we're right at $7 million uh, for the construction of the 15,000 square foot um, police facility. Okay. So one of the other things that we tried to do in dealing with the um, federal building was to try and get some capacity to address some of the city's other facilities needs. If the bond effort is successful and a new police station is constructed on, tr constructed on Jackson Street, it will leave open the 4th Street facility. It's about 8,740 square feet. Uh, it's a facility, as I indicated, is easily remodeled. It does have challenges. Its challenges are that uh, it's been rebuilt so many times on the inside that you essentially need to go in, take what's good, take the stuff that's bad, gut it out. As uh, the uh, support structure for the roof makes it easily adaptable to other office uses. So the framework, the uh, the roof is good. We're just installing, because it is an emergency facilities, we're just installing a new generator so it has emergency power. It does have ADA access issues, and we've looked at uh, perhaps addressing those as well. Um, but the idea, what the plan is, or what the recommendation from staff is, as we get into the man building, as I stated with the square footage limitations that we have in community development and engineering, they're about 50% less space than they will need within the next five years, which is to say that they have less space than they need now. So that we, one of the things that we look at when additional staff or interns are requested in those departments is where will we put them? And one of the things we've looked at is having interns or can we split out a part of their operation into another, um, into another building? And any time you break up those operations that are intricate to themselves, it wastes time, just like IS being out at uh, the Egan Youth Center. It takes time. They should be working on something, and they're using it traveling. So we talked about um, the community or the facilities master plan, talked about as it relates to community development and information systems. Uh, human resources was also one of the, the reason they're in here is because human resources was going to be relocated to the basement of City Hall when that remodel project was going to take off. So they've been included in here as a potential for going to a remodeled facility. Excuse me. So, um, again, these were the amounts that were in the facilities master plan of 2015. Uh, so those are just the numbers we talked about before. The man building is 4,050 square feet. So by transferring community development and engineering to uh, the 4th Street location, would put them, position them where they need to be with their projected uh, space <coughs> needs. So it's a facility that is already owned by the city. It's already tax exempt. And it's something that we need to address the space needs, not just the condition of the man building where they're located at this time, but how do we expand that? We've looked at, is it possible to expand the man building either uh, to the west? Is it possible to expand it to the south? Is it possible to go up with it? The bottom line is that uh, adding on to that building will be very expensive because it isn't structurally sound. You can't really go up with it, meaning that you can't put a second story on it. So this is a way for us to address those needs as well. So uh, let's see, we've talked about this already. Okay, we indicated the man building, and that structural assessment is available if anybody wants to look at it for the man building. It's, it is uh, not the most interesting 
uh, reading in the world, but they do tell you that the building essentially is structurally sound if not able to be expanded. Um, talking about freeing up the space in the Egan Youth Center, the idea would be to move at least information systems, if not HR, to the man building, uh, more accessible, ground level, uh, put IS back downtown, as well as providing much-needed storage. If you've been down in the basement of City Hall, uh, we have a lot of storage issues. As, this, as you know, one of the clerk's main jobs is to maintain the city's records. Community development, when they have commercial building plans, they hold on to those indefinitely. As more and more buildings are constructed, more and more of those plans are retained. We have financial records. We have the city's uh, clerk's records.